Metmar Group is a combination of a bulk commodities a trader and a commodity investment holding company. It was listed nearly a decade ago and completed a major equity fundraising in late 2010. It has an important stake in a manganese a minor Kalahari resources. The group has a market cap of 627.6 million rand and a price to earnings ratio of 14.9. Uh, Metmar, of course, is on the other hand uh, and the other end of the scale when it comes to that proposed tax because they would benefit from it. Uh, no, no, they, they would they would actually be harmed by it because they they mine uh, they have um, Metmar as a business that's trading in chrome oh, okay, as right. as part as uh, on the one side. They also have investments, and one of those investments is in a in a chrome mine. So obviously, so naturally, they would obviously they're opposed. Be a pro, uh, opposed to it rather. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so from their point of view it just doesn't make sense, you know, to go and, uh, to go and uh, basically uh, to the detriment of the, the chrome miners and the chrome exporters uh, for the sake of ferrochrome, it doesn't make uh, sense and I think we're going to have a very robust debate um, in the next few weeks as uh, Metmar, uh, who I spoke to today, said that they are in consultation with uh, some other parties that would be affected by this export levy. Um, as well as the unions, just to um, provide a formal response and stimulate debate around this, uh, th this issue so, so that their side is, is well represented as well. But their commodities trading business is actually doing quite well. 2.2 billion rand revenue there of the overall revenue base of 2.6 billion mm -hmm. rand in the period, a profit of 45 million rand. So obviously not turning the, the type of profits that their polymers business is doing, but they're adding additional staff and that is a positive sign. Mm. Look, what they've got here is two of the most volatile businesses in the world shoved together back to back. So what you've got on the first uh, side of it is commodities trading, where, as you know, you pick up loads of this and that and you have it on a wharf side and then you sell it hopefully at a profit. But slender margins and you can either make an absolute killing if you're in the right place at the right time or you can actually sit with a loss if you have shipping or logistical related problems. Then you've got uh, effectively investment banking or investment holding in mining and resources and commodity stakes. So they take stakes in you know, platinum mines, chrome mines, manganese mines, all sorts of things, partly in order to have the relationship to do the marketing and sometimes just because they think it's an attractive opportunity and they can put some money in, get a new stake in a new interesting venture. But those stakes can either explode in value and they've had a couple of those. They had something called Mokhale where they made an absolute fortune or they could just go to nothing. So it creates extreme volatility in earnings. In the old days when this was just four guys in an office trading this thing, it was fine. They made good money in good years, no money in bad years. But as a listed company, it's very tricky for the market to get a real sense of it. And now they're actually looking to, to increase their minority stakes into controlling stakes yeah. in the likes of pairing based metals, SA metals, equities, uh, Kivu resources and Kalahari resources. What would that mean? Do you think that's a good strategy for Metmar? Yeah, I think, you know, they, when they started off, uh, when they started out, Metmar were, were just four guys and, and as good at traders as they were, they realized that the game, uh, the game was changing, that they had to secure off take by investing in some of the customers that they were dealing with and that's what they started so initially if you look back at their portfolio of investments two years ago they had a whole hodgepodge of of little minority stakes here and there which they'd almost bought on the cusp as they were dealing with their clients uh, now they've they've turned that into division within the company um, they've focused uh, they've focused it they've sold off some of the smaller ones and the idea is that they they've got now got the expertise of people who know how to run these projects and handle these projects they, that they increase their stake in, in the investments and they leverage off the scale. So instead of buying 5% like they did in Kalahari Resources, you know, they try and get a 20% stake. Uh, so what you're going to end up with is, is a company that has maybe uh, you know, 5 to 8 uh, investments that are sizable chunks and that they can exert um, management control over. And uh, some, of the, some of the projects are very interesting. The way I, I sort of think about Metmar is that um, I consider that their trading, their trading makes about 20 cents per share a year. So your trading business is worth around two rand. Um, they've been very conservative in the way that they've valued some of their investments, but there are question marks about some of them. For instance, Zimbabwe, um, Zimbabwe alloys chrome, I think. Uh, they've banned chrome exports in Zimbabwe as well. So whether or not you might see any money there is, is, uh, is So we need story. to question some of the value on their balance sheet. So we've got to get to hot or not. Yep. Paul, let's start with you, Metma. Uh, what, two rounds 60 or so? Look, Dave Elwood's a lovely fellow and um, they came to the market with that 2010 raising that you referred to in your intro. They placed 
130 million rands with a stock at four rand something. Now it's trading at 275. So they've got a lot of proving to do. 600 million market cap company making this transition. I mean, I think it is a story, but not one that I'd be enticed by. No, no not hot. Not hot. Turn around story at all for you. Um, I'm cautious. I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic at this point, but not, not to buy. Uh, not to you buy wouldn't be yet. buying the stuff. I'd not like hot. to see them come closer to their, oper their uh, projects coming into operation.